Can. Yeah. So, uh, how? Let us now look at how do we how we choose the how do we choose the right inventory management system. So, before we answer the question, let us look at the three broad types of solutions and their pros and cons. So, the uh, the first one we have, of course, uh, will be the very basic ones, which is uh, inventory spreadsheets like Excel or Google Google Sheet. So, they do have tools, features, and formulas to make it more dynamic and interactive. And of course, uh, the pros is that it's low cost, easy to set up. And it's suitable for uh, new business or small business that's looking for a quick solution to manage your inventory. And uh, of course, this is a very short-term solution. There are a lot of, uh, there are more uh, cons in a way. Uh, in, do, so keep in mind when using Excel, it is very manual. So, and it's easy to make double entries. And if you want to avoid or locate errors, it takes a lot of time to audit. Um, you need to be very meticulous and you need strict management practices to manage your Excel. So uh, using Excel also means that your data is not updated in real time and your functions are limited and not easily scalable. The second type will be uh, cloud-based solutions, which is more common. So unlike spreadsheets or on-premise systems that sit on local computer, cloud-based solutions are hosted on the internet. So they can eliminate uh, delays, errors, and frustrations that's common to using spreadsheets. So um, cloud-based inventory management system also store data in one place. So you can update uh, your data in real time, automate your repetitive task, and also reduce the risk of errors. It can also help you manage your workflow from end to end. Right? Um, on cloud-based solution also, data is more secure and protected on the enterprise-grade servers. And so software upgrade is also on a frequent um, basis, meaning you always have the access to the latest software without having uh, to install manually. And uh, usually cloud-based solutions are designed to grow with your agency. So you don't have to buy or install additional software or servers uh, as, as your uh, organization grow. And of course, um, the downside is compared to spreadsheet, the cost is slightly higher and you need uh, some time to do the setup. Um, Cloud-based would be suitable for small and medium-sized businesses. Uh, you may consider um, cloud-based if uh, that can provide a certain level of sophistication needed to maintain your uh, effective inventory management while scaling up sustainability. Okay, the third type is the enterprise, uh, enterprise resource planning ERP inventory management system, which is uh, in, it's an integrated approach to business planning uh, and operations to manage all your finance, logistics, operation and inventory in one place. So on top of the pros that you can find in the cloud base, ERP also um, is able to handle manage data, uh, to complex data streams. So, um, however, small businesses may not be able to justify the higher cost of an ERP inventory management system compared to the standard cloud inventory management system, especially if the additional functions and capabilities are not what you need. So, these are the three broad um, types that you can consider. Okay, and next, uh, how do you choose the right management uh, inventory management system? So, some of the key questions you'd like to ask before making a decision. What type of business are you? Are you a small, medium, or enterprise level uh, business? So, because this determines the type of uh, inventory you have, is it more complex, uh, which means you need more advanced inventory management capabilities. The second one is look at the, to look at the goals and challenges you have. Uh, what are you trying to achieve? What challenges are you trying to solve? Uh, make a list of all the challenge, uh, operational challenges you are facing and the goals you want to achieve um, for your inventory management approach. So it can include anything from accurate inventory uh, tracking to um, lowering your inventory holding costs or to uh, streamline your workflows or to scale up easy, easy, um, uh, with uh, more capability, All right? And the next one uh, is to look at what are your must-have features, right? Like what, what is the inventory that you need, you need to manage? So it will determine the exact, exact tools and features you need to operate effect, uh, effectively. And um, so besides inventory tracking, asset tracking, what reporting capabilities do you need? Do you need to track your inventory movement or do you need forecasting features to help you make strategic decisions? And uh, most, most but not all uh, cloud-based and ERP inventory management systems offer some level of integration capabilities. So look, at, look for a system that can easily integrate with your critical software, such as accounting, if you need. Right. So in other words, choose the right functions that, you, uh, that meet your uh, specific requirements. So the next one is to look at affordability. How much are you willing to pay? Some costs can vary uh, significantly. Um, however, paying for the essential functions can end up increasing 
your profitability or decreasing cost over time. And also consider functions that you do not require. You, you may not need to spend the money on them if you don't need them. Okay. Then next, consider how many users do you need to assess the system. If, you, if it's uh, a multiple team, multiple teams of people need to assess the system at one time on a regular basis, then it's a good idea to consider a cloud-based solution that updates automatically in real time so everyone can see the data that is updated. Then next one, consider whether you need training or support. So most providers offer uh, support uh, and also a various level of uh, training resources. So um, some providers give uh, free support and others charge extra depending on the level of support you need. So uh, do take this into consideration when uh, considering your uh, solution. Uh, last but not least, but also most important, how do you choose uh, the tech partner? So like any, bis um, any positive business partnership, a tech partner should be willing to help you achieve your goals and celebrate your successes. So some of the key considerations when engaging a tech partner, you might want to think about whether the solution is customizable. Like uh, is the tech partner reliable and able to work uh, to support you in implementing a solution that works for your needs and budget? So are they willing to tweak or extend um, beyond their offering, such as through integration, to fit your specific requirements rather than taking a one-size-fits-all approach? Uh, next, do they have proven track record? Are there testimonials from other customers or are there case studies available for operations like yours? Okay, then also look at whether um, the tech partner is able to give you ongoing support and engagement. So reliable ones should be able to, um, to uh, offer ongoing support even after onboarding. So this would include uh, assigning you to a dedicated team of support and also um, providing you to access, uh, access to resources and also giving you guidance on how to better utilize their offering as you evolve. So, uh, and also, do they take customer feedback into account? So any good business takes uh, feedback into account and tech providers are no exception. So look at whether um, they, they do have the clear avenue for you to provide feedback and also incorporate that feedback into their new releases. Um, of course, look at um, when choosing, think about whether this tech partner help you through your transformation stage in your company's growth. So ensure that they are um, invested in helping your business by uh, probably asking these questions. Do they offer the key features you need for, your, uh, for you to operate your business effectively? Do they offer the capabilities you need now and as you grow? And also, do they uh, integrate with other bis uh, key business software? And is their platform continually releasing new functions or is it uh, stagnant? Right. And also uh, whether they offer you the flexibility to grow within your IT requirements. Right. Okay. So I hope that gives you a better idea of how to select an inventory management system uh, that meet your needs. So we also know that digitalization is not an easy task. So we want to make it easy for you by providing uh, funding support in various areas. So if you can see um, under technology, we do provide funding uh, under Start Digital and Go Digital to fund um, preschool IT solutions like those you are seen today or larger scale solutions that's not within uh, the preschool lease. So if you do need help in um, your tech adoption or which IT solutions to implement, uh, you, can take a, you can consider our tech advisory, which is fully funded. And, uh, or if you are implementing IT solutions or you require project management and change management expertise, or you plan to embark on a digital transformation as a strategic goal for your organization, you can consider um, the project consultancy, which is 80% funded, kept at 40k, right? So uh, we also have uh, the third one, Start Data uh, Protection, Start DP, which is set up by NCSS in collaboration with IMDA and Personal Data Protection Commission, PDPC, to equip SSAs with the expertise and resources to implement data protection obligations. So we also simplify uh, the application steps uh, I will not go into too much detail, mainly uh, if you do not know where to start. So you can uh, start from step one for the technical advisory to look at what are your technical needs and uh, what are the solutions out there that can match your needs. So if you already know where you, uh, what you want to do, uh, what solutions you need, you can uh, shortlist the solutions from our website and then approach the tech partners to assess if the solution meet your needs and get a quotation from them. So um, after you get a quotation, uh, you, you can submit the online application with the quotation. So funding is on a reimbursement basis after you use the solution for at least a month. So you'll, sub you'll submit a tech adoption report, which we have also make it easier by giving you a template 
and uh, just um, with some supporting documents, right? So uh, if at this point your budgeting period is not over, um, be sure to include this in your budget planning, right? So in terms of application windows, the next one that's coming up is April. Uh, tech advisory is ongoing. Uh, so you can submit, we will send you the link after this. Uh, so you can just submit an online application um, and our, our team will contact you. For the technical solutions, um, the application window starts in um, April. So now will be a good time for you to get in touch with the tech partners and understand their solution and get a quotation from them. If there are any, um, any critical functions that you need and you're not sure whether you can cover uh, under Tech and Go, you can contact us and we will uh, advise you accordingly.